welcome back to another NYC Barrow Friday. Um, as always, we've got something fun to do today. Today, I am joined with Ruth. Hello. Uh, you'll have seen her. She did smoothies with me a few months ago, yeah, like a long time were. ago. And then we got into lockdown, so I couldn't have you back. Yeah, but, but I'm back. You are. And today, we are going to be doing a little challenge. I'm excited. Okay. I don't know what this is. So basically, we're going to have two minutes. Okay. Maybe three. We'll see. Probably two. Uh, and... You have to make something to save this egg from being broken <laughs> when I throw it as high up into the air as I can outside. Right, okay. okay. So you're gonna have two minutes. I've got another one here. Now, the one I've got, you'll see, is a, a little bit cracked. <laughs> so it's mine is to not get more smashed. Mm -hmm. But I'm pretty sure that yours is quite decent. Yeah. Yeah, there you go. So we're gonna have two minutes on the clock. Yeah, whatever we can find around the office here, you're welcome to use. Um, and that is what we're gonna do. So we're gonna get set up and uh, yeah, see you in a couple of moments. A few moments later. Right, you've got two minutes on the clock. Uh, your time and my time starts now. This is now not interesting because we're so concentrating on what we're doing. But... It's okay. One. <laughs> okay. Stop that. Uh, there we go. Let's see what you've got then, Ruth. I mean, I think your design is a lot better than mine. Uh, mine has two cups on either end, some scrunched paper around the middle to kind of fill it out, and then I put my jumper around it because I thought that might add some kind of cushioning. I have gone with the classic I think this small is... cone with the egg lodged in the middle. Now remember though, yeah. my cone was slightly damaged, so it's whether yeah. it's more damaged or not. But um, I think I think it's set there. I think that's. You've had longer to think about this. So let's get outside, let's throw these in the air, and we'll see what happens. <laughs> I hope it doesn't go up there. <laughs> <laughs> go for it. I think that's probably okay. Yeah. Here we go. Okay, go for it. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it didn't go through the window. This is good. <laughs> I'm gonna go again. There we go. I'm going to do yours again. Okay. Exactly as Ruth had it, I yep. think I can get a better. Oh. Oh, that didn't sound good, that one. Let's, I think that might have broken that time. Let's open this up. Oh, it looks all right. Oh, I taped it in there. Oh. Too much tape. That's not bad. <laughs> We have a complete egg. Yeah. <laughs> no, I mean, now it's not complete. That's what would have happened. <laughs> Let's see what happens with the one that almost hit the church. Yeah, I was has a bit it, worried about the window. Has it gone any different? Oh, so much tape. Yeah, we're regretting those decisions now, aren't we? Yeah, mine got more damage. <laughs> I mean, I'm surprised. Maybe it just needed more paper in it. I mean, at the end of the day, that's fine. Because the whole idea of doing this is because Easter, we talk a lot about Easter eggs. But actually, Easter is about Jesus coming to save us from all the bad stuff we do. And we celebrate him coming back to life and we remember what he did on the cross. And just like we try to come up with these safety things, some worked, some worked better than others, some didn't work at all. Well, God's plan worked perfectly. And Jesus died on the cross for you and me came back to life so we could get to know the Father and live forever with him. So I'd encourage you to go and have a look at that, find out about that, and uh, we'll see you next time around. <laughs> 